Rome. The Eternal City. Almost three million people live here, but they are not the sole inhabitants of this metropolis. In the urban environment, some animals have found a world of opportunities. It's late in the suburbs of Rome. Everything is still and quiet. People are sleeping or coming back home after a night of amusement in the city centre. Here, there is a very unusual nighttime visitor. A wild boar and the rest of his group. Recently, wild boars became regulars of this quarter in the north of Rome. When the sun goes down, they escape from the nature reserve and haunt the streets. They look for some easy food. Nothing good here. They are so habituated to urban life that they're not even scared of moving vehicles. Finally, they find a bag full of delicacies. They spend all night scrounging on the streets. At dawn, they come back to the woodland, their natural habitat. It's morning and the busy life of the city has started. There are places where calm and tranquility reign. In the gardens of the ancient palaces in the center of Rome, animals can live undisturbed. It's spring and the colorful flowers of the pink rock rose are an irresistible attraction for these honeybees looking for nectar. But there are more surprising creatures upon the palm trees. Monk parakeets. They go back and forth carrying twigs that they meticulously place in their nests. These parrots come from South America and are invasive. They have spread by accidental or voluntary releases by careless owners. They are highly adaptable and have increased in number and colonized the whole city. They are now permanent inhabitants of Rome. Yellow-legged gulls have chosen a far busier place to nest. The Roman Forum, an archeological site located just a few steps from the Colosseum. More than six million people visit this area every year. These birds build their nest in the ruins of the ancient Roman temples, which tourists cannot access. The city centre represents an inexhaustible source of food. People leave easy pickings, and gulls can find food in the bins and rubbish along the street. Competitors, like carrion crows, are promptly cast out. Gulls are the masters of Roman skies. This part of the Tiber bank represents an oasis for many species. A common moorhen looks for insects and worms. Her chicks are a few days old and need to eat. The offspring of this species is semi-precocial. Chicks leave their nests shortly after hatching and follow their mother while begging for food. Someone lags behind. Better hurry. Reunited. And finally, at home. Both parents build the nest and care for the chicks. City life can be a challenge. This moorhen has spotted a threat. 
a koipu, an invasive South American rodent. When they feel threatened, more hens emit a characteristic alarm call. If the predator gets too close to the nest, they do not hesitate to fight back. They do everything to protect their offspring. The koipu retreats. The chicks are safe once more. Here, wild animals have created a new life. Newcomers have found their own place in the city. Rome has been colonized by a global mix of animal species. They have adapted to the streets and the concrete. And they keep on adapting. But there is no doubt, they are Romans now. Thank you.